heard this story three years ago and it changed my life. Hey everyone and welcome back to another episode of Inspiring Hope. This is your weekly boost of uplifting Jewish inspiration. I'm Rabbi Tzvi Sittner and on behalf of H.com and The Village Shul, I want to thank you all for listening. I also want to thank this week's sponsors. Today's talk is sponsored by Michael Twyman in honor of The Village Shul Kehillah. Thank you, Michael. So several years ago, just days before Sokis, I heard terrifying news about a friend of mine. He was driving home to Cleveland on Route 80 with five of his six children in the car. It was late at night when they struck an overturned tractor trailer that was literally lying across the highway. The accident was devastating and two of their children were airlifted in critical condition. Word began to spread among the Jewish people and everybody rallied together and were pouring their hearts out in prayer for this family. And then my friend started to send out video updates from the hospital. Now I was following the posts and then I saw this one video that changed my life. It was a video of him lying in the hospital bed with his daughter. And in the video, you can see that this little girl is struggling to keep her eyes open as he strokes her forehead. And throughout the video, he's singing a song that I had never heard before. It was a song written by Rabbi Ephraim Waxman, and it went like this. I believe in Hashem. I trust in Hashem. There never is a moment when that I am alone, that I'm on my own. I believe and I trust in Hashem because I understand that He's holding my hand and every step is perfectly planned. He's holding me tight, so I'll be all right. I believe and I trust in Hashem. He sings it over and over as he strokes her forehead. And I'm watching this video and I'm in tears. Now here we were just days before Sukkot. And I remember thinking to myself, this is literally the message of Sukkot. That just as the Jewish people traveled through the desert, living in huts with nothing, they trusted in Hashem and Hashem protected them. And every year as we sit in the Sukkah, we're reminded that our protection ultimately comes from Hashem. I was so moved that I immediately printed these lyrics on these huge posters and I hung them in my sukkah. And that sukkah, and every year since, we sit around with our guests from all backgrounds, from atheist to fully from, and we all sing. I believe in Hashem, I trust in Hashem. There never is a moment when that I am alone, that I'm on my own. I believe and I trust in Hashem because I understand that He's holding my hand and every step is perfectly planned. He's holding me tight so I'll be all right. I believe and I trust in Hashem. Miraculously, his girls recovered, but his response and his faith has inspired me and many others to change. This year, as you sit in the sukkah, wherever you are in the world, join me in singing these powerful words as we all remember that Hashem is holding all of our hands. Thank you so much for listening and Chag Sameach.